it's Ashwin Rao. Today I wanted to bring you a unbagging and unboxing of one of the best brick and mortar, pardon the pun, vendors of Alden footwear in the world. Located in Seattle, Washington, established in 2015, is Brick Plus Mortar. Brick and Mortar was founded by Yenny Song um, back in 2015. She had come from a background working with Alden and ultimately decided to strike out on her own. Alden typically sells their shoes either direct from manufacturer or through various brick and mortar vendors. They don't really have a huge online presence for their sales. And what I love about brick and mortar is that they offer a more unique and elaborate take on the Alden style using the traditional Alden methods, Goodyear welting construction, and a variety of other strategies, including a collection of their leathers and their lasts. But to come up with something unique that suits the modern men's wardrobe or modern women's wardrobe quite well. Burlap material, as you can see, with the Alden logo emblazoned and the brick and mortar logo right here. Here's the Alden box, and you can see this is in my size, this is the Berry Last, and this is, I believe, their D2520 model, which is the Tan Nubuck Long Wing Blue Chair. This is your very traditional Alden box. Alden boxes are rather small compared to many other shoe boxes. Some people are not huge fans. They are decent boxes, I would say. And you see right off the bat, a pair of shoe bags from Alden. The shoes usually come with a pair of shoe bags, which you can see right here, made of a cotton soft cloth-like material, same texture inside and out with the Alden logo emblazoned on those bags. Those are not unique to brick and mortar, rather just available to all Alden makeup. The tissue paper emblazoned with the Alden logo. And brick and mortar was kind enough to include a spare of waxed laces. You can start to see the model that I got, which is a really cool model. It's their traditional long wing blucher. And you can see that it is wrapped in some plastic here. This is the Alden long wing right here. And let's get into the details. Now you can see this is a pretty aggressively styled shoe. Something I was looking for for a spring or summer shoe I've not had many wedge soles, and this is Alden's proprietary Goodyear welted sole. You can see the Alden logo right there. Uh, bottom surface, you can see a slight scallop where the heel block would be, although this is all one piece of um, wedge, basically. And you can see this really unique and beautiful leather. This is their tan Nubuck leather, almost a natural colored leather. Um, Nubuck is like a finer suede. It has a very tight nap um, and a softer handle. So you can see here, this is a shoe built off of Alden's Berry Last, which is a round toed last, a more traditional shaped last with a medium instep and a wider forefoot. The Berry Last as well as the True Balance Last are known as two of the most comfortable lasts available. You can see that this is um, fashioned with a 360 degree Goodyear welt. Goes all the way around the shoe. You can see the joint here, right there. And uh, looks relatively clean. I would say there's a little step off there. You can see the really lovely job done here on the upper with the stitching being extremely clean the symmetrical broguing in the typical two to one pattern, the pinking, which is the serrated edge to the edges of the leathers that you see along the long wing, as well as along the facing here and the collar, and that one piece of the back heel right here. So I'm gonna have to get these brushed up, but these look really nice. Um, I like the monotone look. This is very unique for me in terms of long wing bluchers, which have rapidly become my second favorite derby style after the split toe derby. To me, those two styles 
require a little bit more attention to detail, fit and finish, and I just like how they look on my feet. And so they're a nice straddle point between the classic menswear and the rugged menswear look. Here you can see the brick and mortar logo emblazoned on the sole. You can see that that's a half leather insole and a lined tongue as well as the lining on the inside of the shoe. The no metal on the outside, but yes, protected rings on the inside. So these are blind eyelets. And you can see the very traditional classic long wing broguing on the medallion right here. So very classic look. What's unique about this particular makeup is the choice of the tan nubuck to go with this tan wedge with the really contrast point being the welt here and the um, outsole stitching, which gives it a nice contrast. Because it has this wedge sole, it should function well in various climates. I see this as a really fun shoe to wear with either denim or linens or even shorts potentially in the summer if you want an elevated casual look. Give brick and mortar a try. Yenny, Jeff, Sean, and others at the store are really fantastic, have great knowledge and participate online in the shoe community. So they are familiar with what's going on in the shoe world in terms of leathers, styles, um, some of the discussions that have been had around Alden. And I think they offer a really great perspective on where the brand fits in today's wardrobe. Hope you're all doing well. Talk to you soon, okay? Have a good one.